Ladies and gentlemen, there is a spectacular planet alignment that's occurring in the sky, and you will be able to see this in the pre-dawn hours. Four planets. So which planets will be aligned are the ones you see on the screen. Jupiter, Venus, Mars, Saturn, and the, the moon will be 90% full when this occurs. So the last time this rare lineup occurred was in 2016. So you will be able to see this in the pre-dawn hours, bringing a planet spotting party for sky watchers, Jupiter, Venus, Mars, and uh, Saturn will be visible in a diagonal line joined by a waning gibbous moon that's still more than 90% full. Look for the cosmic gang in the east-southeast sky before dawn. So you'll be able to distinguish these planets in the sky because they are brighter than stars and twinkle less. Jupiter will be the lowest and furthest to the left, followed by Venus, Mars, and Saturn, tracing an invisible line moving up and to the right. So if you have problems spotting this in the sky, you can actually see it on an app called Stellarium. It will be able to help you locate it in the sky. A fifth planet is also visible in the sky, but not at the same time, and that is Mercury. Mercury can be seen in the evening sky, but will set before the others rise in the morning. The Quartet of Worlds will reappear each morning for the rest of the month as the moon sink to a crescent. So you will be able to see this in the sky this week and next week. All you got to do is get up, you know, in the pre-dawn hours and you should be able to see it in the sky. So by the end of April, you will see this grinning moon slide underneath the lineup of planets on successive nights. It will underline Saturn, I'm sorry, <laughs> underline Saturn on April 25th, Mars following night, which is the 26th, and both Jupiter and Venus on the 27th. So you're going to see the moon actually slit, um, it's going to go below the planets on each of the nights and it will just be moving forward until it gets under um, Jupiter and Venus. Venus and Jupiter will continue to approach one another until they appear nearly side by side in the sky on April 30th. In fact, it's the closest they've appeared since 2016 and likely will be easier to see this time around due to the favorable positioning in relation to the emerging morning sun. Of course, the planets are not in actual danger of colliding as they really uh, are millions of miles apart. They just appear close from our perspective on Earth. If Venus were to ever come anywhere near Jupiter, it would probably be pulled by the gas giant gravity and end up getting swallowed by it. That is, if it isn't destroyed as it gets pelted by Jupiter's dozens of moons first. So that would provide a truly rare and terrified, but that's not going to happen, y'all. That's not going to happen. I guess the writer was calling themselves trying to have some fun there. So again, if you get a chance, you want to get out there and see this, especially if the skies are clear, you have from now until the 30th of April to witness this alignment in the sky. 
So everybody, please tell me what you think in the comment section. I sure hope I can get a glimpse of it in the morning. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.